everybody. Um, so we've got an Artsy Addicts challenge. And if you guys don't know what Artsy Addicts is, all it is is a Facebook group that I created on Facebook. Um, anyone can join. Everyone gets approved. International, domestic, doesn't matter. Um, the only thing is you do have to send a request on there because that's just the way Facebook is set up for their little group things. But everybody gets approved. There's two admins on there, Carla and um, Angie, and they go on there and they approve everybody. So it's a lot of fun. We go on there, we share everything that has to do with scrapbooking and even more than that. But So we've got a little challenge, a video challenge on a handmade embellishment. So all you have to do is make a video, a YouTube video on a handmade embellishment um, and show us how to make it and post the video on the Artsy Addicts Facebook and um, I think late tonight or maybe even, I may extend it till tomorrow afternoon. Um, all the Artsy Addicts girls are going to go on there and everybody is. Everyone's going to judge on who whose um, video they liked the most or whose embellishment they liked the most, which is going to be really, really hard for everybody, I bet. And I'm going to send that person a really, really cool prize. So mine is going to be on some weathered looking paper. So I'm going to show you how to make paper that looks kind of old. And for this paper, I actually used this Dynamics die on the top here. And I'm just going to show you how to make it look kind of old like like this. So see how it's kind of got this cool edge? And it's super easy. You just take some walnut stain Distress Ink and a blending tool. And don't be um, careful about this at all. I mean, you can make little square marks like that. It's not going to matter once I show you this next step. So you just ink your edges. I'm, see, I'm being super, super messy about it. I'm going to show you how to smooth it all out in just a bit. I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, this is like really messy. There's no way I'm just going to get that to, to look smooth, but I promise I will. So now you're going to do a little bit of aging on the inside. See, you could totally see some streakage there and it just looks gross. Like you would never ever put this in anything just just the way it is. So, All right, so that's good enough for me. And I made my own Glimmer Mist. I actually, I took my favorite Glimmer Mist colors and I love like the browns and yellows and oranges and reds and I just made this really cool color. Um, it's perfect for making something look old. So you're gonna spray the whole thing pretty well with that and then you're going to take your blending tool and you're just going to sort of wipe it off a little bit go over it and darken it and see how none of those streaks are showing and it looks like old paper so kind of neat really easy and you're just going to let that dry um, you can use your heat tool but the chances are this is going to curl up quite a bit because this is a pretty thin cardstock but you can always straighten it back out I mean once you glue it down to your book it's going to straighten out so I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all dry um, this is a junk book that I'm, a junk journal that I'm working on for the Prima Educator blog. And so I used that technique on this page here. So it's pretty plain. I'm probably going to stamp some lines on there with my Seven Gypsies journal stamp later. And then I used it again here. And this one I didn't distress the edges, I just missed it all over it. And you can get really creative, like I did. There's this one where I kind of, I used some pink paisley wood pieces to kind of be a mask. And then I just cut out a little heart and I inked over it like that. And then I wrote love in the middle and I just inked the edges a little bit more. And I put little drops of um, darker glimmer mist to make it look older. So kind of fun, super, super easy and quick. And you can make a whole pad or a whole book of um, vintage looking papers. So I hope you guys liked it. And... Like I said, anyone can join Artsy Addicts um, as long as you have a Facebook. But we do have a blog that's going to launch really soon. So even if you don't have a Facebook, you can still come to the blog and um, do some fun stuff there. But I hope you guys like the challenge. And I can't wait to see your handmade embellishments. Um, and that's about it. Thanks, guys.